Chris, what is our third main topic today? This one comes from James. Looks like the gloves are off regarding Stallone Uh-oh. and Rocky. Following the news that Creed 3 has pushed its release date to 3-3-23 and a Draco spinoff is in active development, Stallone let it fly on his Instagram, blasting the Winklers on the Draco, uh, Draco news. He even takes a shot at his friend uh, Lundgren in the post. Do you think it's wrong of Stallone to be so public about his anger over all this? And do you think that the public bashing from Rocky himself will hurt Creed 3 and future Rockyverse projects? All right. Thanks for sending that in, James. And yeah, we were talking the other day about, you know, Stallone kind of went public about he wants the rights given back to him and and all this kind of stuff on Rocky. And then he believes like he wants something to leave to his children. So he wants his Rocky rights back. And it's like, well, leave money to your children. Yeah. Lots and lots of money that you have made off this franchise over the years. At any rate, of course, then last week, news came out that they're developing a Drago movie. And whether or not this actually happens, we'll see. It's in development, so so we'll see if it actually comes to be. Well, one of the people who was really surprised to hear about this Drago news was Sylvester Stallone, being Uh completely shocked by it. (laughs) And he got on social media and just went off. On it. This comes to us from the folks over at the Hollywood Reporter who are writing about this and said this. Stallone said, another heartbreaker hearing about Drago. Just found this out. Once again, pathetic 94-year-old producer and his selfish, useless children are once again picking what is left off the bones of another <laughs> wonderful character. Stallone wrote about Drago. Seriously? How do you weasels look in the mirror? The star continued. I am sorry to the fans. I apologize to the fans. I never wanted Rocky to be exploited for this greed. Uh, Hashtag no shame. Hashtag sad day. Hashtag parasite. He also referenced Lundgren in the post by writing, Dolph, why? Not a phone call? All right. There are, let me preface all this by saying, I have been my whole life and continue to be a massive Sylvester Stallone fan. Actually, I've got an editorial video coming up in the next couple of months about why Oscar is awesome. Oscar is one of the most underrated comedies of all time. I thought I was the only one here that liked Oscar. I love Oscar. (laughs) That movie is balls. I love it. It's so good. Anyway, we'll save that for the video. I am a huge Stallone fan. I still am. Always will be my whole life. That said, Stallone's position here is iffy. Number one, he made business deals that he has profited from greatly over the years. And, you know, while Rocky is absolutely identified with Sylvester Stallone, he doesn't own it. And getting on social media screaming, give it back to me, is not a good rationale about why somebody should give it back to you. But there's two things in particular that kind of sat wrong with me. One, Stallone says, you know, oh my gosh, I can't, the greed, the no shame, they're picking the bones of this thing, another cash grab. Sly, you made six Rocky movies, number of which many thought never should have been made. With Erwin Winkler. Yeah, with Erwin Winkler. By the way, I, I, I love all of them, Sly, I love all of them. But you made six Rocky movies, and then you made two Creed movies. But now it's greed. Now that they're going to do Drago, now they're picking. You made eight Rocky movies, eight Rocky universe movies. But now this is the one that goes too far. This is, oh, now it's greed. Now it's picking at the bones. Do it again. You made eight of these things. Also, if you know me, you know, one of my big pet peeves is when people use social media instead of picking up a fucking phone and calling somebody. Dolph Lundgren is not a stranger to Sylvester Stallone. Dolph Lundgren is not just some personality out there that Sly doesn't know. They've been friends for decades. Sylvester, if you've got an issue with Dolph Lundgren, don't get on social media. You say in your post, no phone call? Well, how about you, Sly? How about instead of just getting on social media and blasting out, at somebody, why don't you just pick up a damn phone? You know the guy. You've got it. He's on your speed dial. Just pick up the phone and call him. Don't get on social. I, I, it, it just bothers. To me, it is the hallmark of the week for somebody to get on social media and use that to blast people. They know they just pick up the phone and talk to them. 
But anyway, that, that part bothers me a lot. But uh, again, I, I just, I, I am a Stallone fan. I love Stallone. But a lot of this is very questionable to me, the, his approaches. And I don't know what he thinks is going to happen. Does he think that a 94-year-old, well, he's actually 91 apparently, that a 91-year-old producer who's been in this business for decades and decades and decades going, well, this, this actor is being real mean to me on social media. I should just give him his property back. Ain't going to happen. What does he think is going to happen here? So I, I, and you ask at the end of the thing, do I think this could hurt like the, the box office or the performance of these movies? It could. If Stallone gets out there and starts campaigning, like the face of Rocky gets out there and starts campaigning against these movies, yeah, it's going to hurt business. I can't help but wonder if he maybe he's positioning himself for a lawsuit. I mean, I, again, I, I don't know, but this doesn't feel good to me, especially coming from a guy that I like so much in Stallone, but we all have a bad day. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Guys, I have been an enthusiastic fan and user of Storyblocks for years. I go to them whenever I'm in need of content creation assets like royalty-free music, video clips, or templates for my creative projects, ranging anywhere from little editorial videos to my very own full feature documentary. Storyblocks helps you bring your stories, videos, and projects to life without sacrifices due to time, budget, or access to resources. They have over 1 million different story assets, ranging from stock videos, audio and music, an in-browser video editor, and they feature pre-designed templates, animations, and outros. Storyblocks uses an affordable subscription model and their unlimited access plans offers, well, unlimited video and audio downloads rather than a costly pay-per-clip model. With Storyblocks, you'll be able to create more content and more importantly, better content, all while using a subscription plan that fits your budget, utilizing unlimited downloads of demand-driven and diverse content. So if you're interested in upping your content creation game, head over to W www.storyblocks.com slash campia and get started today. That's www.storyblocks.com slash campia. Rob, you're seeing the, the, the lashing out that he's doing here. What did you make this latest one that he did? Well, first of all, I got to say, I too am a lifelong Sylvester Stallone fan. I mean, hell, I went and saw Victory four times, his <laughs> movie well, made with Pele. A lot of people still think that's his best movie. I love that movie. And I, I loved him as Machine Gun Joe Viterbo and Paul Bartel's Death Race 2000, the original. <laughs> so I, I, I love Stallone. I don't understand this at all because, you know, no one was going to make Rocky with his script and with him in the lead role. But Erwin Winkler and Robert Chardoff did. You know, and it's not, it's not what you deserve. It's what you negotiate. When they made Rocky, they had no idea that it would become the movie it became. I mean, maybe they suspected it could, but nobody knew. Not only, I mean, it's... To make one movie that gets, wins the Oscar for Best Picture, but to make a whole universe over the course of almost 50 years now? And let's let's not forget that Rocky allowed, I mean, Paradise Alley and Fist, the movies he made post-Rocky that weren't great, he got to make Rambo, five of those. He got to make The Expendables, three of those. And don't forget, Stop and My Mom Will Shoot. Stop and My don't Mom Will Shoot. That and one. by the Only way, the greatest, <laughs> the greatest awesome bad studio picture ever <laughs> the specialist with sylvester stallone and sharon stone and i swear to god in the shower scene they have together you're looking at sylvester stallone's muscles instead of sharon stone's beautiful body and that is a feat unto itself <laughs> i mean the guy like i don't know i i really don't understand this beef that he has and by the way you know what there is the drago movies in active development why should dolph lundgren call him Maybe Dolph Lundgren had to sign an NDA and say, I can't say anything about this till the deal's done. By the way, just to point out, Dolph Lundgren has come out and said, hey, listen, I was under the impression that Sly was attached to this as a producer. Yep. Uh, and sure. He, and, and, and Dolph Lundgren, by the way, has publicly come out and said, I have reached out and talked to, to Sly. So apparently they have spoken now. So just, mm -hmm. just throwing that yeah, out Yeah, yeah. But I think that it's, 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 this is Hollywood, man. And if you want to, if he had been a hard ass and said, I need to own the Rocky character from now until the end of time the movie never would have been made there would be no rocky movies unless sylvester stallone signed the deal that he signed this is an anomaly in all of hollywood history this has never happened before i mean there are other people that got screwed out of their movies like roland emmerich and dean devlin don't own any of the stargate tv shows even though they created stargate this is this is what happens but it's so rare 
And Stallone, of all people, is a very smart guy. His entire career, and he's had a great, great career. He's making another Expendables movie, and he's 74 years old. I mean, what's he bitching about? Yeah. Samaritan looks great. Like, yeah, he's got Samaritan. <laughs> I like the look of Samaritan. Samaritan looks I, awesome. I think it looks I mean, really fun. He's got. He, he's in the new. He's in uh, Tulsa King. He's got a show. Yeah. What, what? I mean, the guy is getting paid for now until children. Tulsa. Here's the question, though, too. It's it's business. If you really want some rights to Rocky, go make an offer. Buy right. him back. Right. Exactly. And buy him back. You you got a lot of money. A anyway, Chris, you're seeing this. What what comes out to you the most when you read this? I mean, it feels like a lot of double standards, doesn't it? Because Winkler has is selfish, and his children are selfish and useless. But I need to leave something for my children, who are very very capable and deserving. <laughs> if a project involves, they have a great podcast, by the it, way. Two of his daughters have they're the best. Podcast. Yeah. The, and you know, the there's more story to tell if he's involved in it. But if he's not, they're then picking the we're picking the bones. So that all is very interesting to me. And I I agree with you. The best way to do things is open communication, right? And don't get me wrong, I love just eating some popcorn, watching a Twitter feud seeing somebody post things like i know exactly who needs to know this but <laughs> like we'll just talk to them but telephones work both ways so it shouldn't have taken a po a, a social media post that is fraught with internet yelling and accusatory <laughs> notions to one of his friends for something to come from this right i'm so glad dolph picked up the phone i'm so glad that he you know set the record straight on his social i know that Sylvester took down his initial post too. So hopefully this is all getting sorted. But yeah, if you want the rights to something, go make a business deal. That's how business happens. It doesn't happen because you sit at home bitching and moaning and hope that your fans rally behind you. It's going to take some cash, buddy. And you got it. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? And, and do you ultimately think that if Stallone decides to mount and continue a big anti everything Rocky campaign that it could hurt the future. Could it hurt Creed three? Could it hurt a Drago movie if it gets made at all? Or maybe it's much ado about nothing. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.